girl called named Chanel and I'm back. And I'm back. It's gonna be on my nose the whole video. So y'all just gonna have to excuse my hair. And yeah, that's just how it's gonna have to be. I'm gonna show you guys or tell you guys apps to use to get um sugar daddies and regular guys to spend money, aka tricks. I don't like a lot of people don't like to hear the word tricks because it reminds them of prostitutes. But nevertheless, yes, trigger their dating app. So, and also social media apps like Snapchat. Snapchat is like literally God's gift to earth. Um, anytime I talk about sugar daddies or tricks, I'm make it the finesse channel. I decided to do this video is because I uh, I had a lot of people commenting on my sugar daddy uh, video, and like they're like, oh yeah, I'm about to get a sugar daddy. Okay, listen, y'all. That video was when I was 22. I'm now 26. So that video was four years ago. The game has changed. The game has evolved. Like that video is literally just a story time. It kind of doesn't even have any more relevance anymore because I would never. Let me tell y'all, if there are girls posting sugar daddy, um, sugar daddy videos and and on their channel and stuff like that, and they're telling you to go to the sites like Sugar Baby for Me, Establishment, and Seeking Arrangement, all those places, they, they those, they're they're fakes. They, they're to not to be trusted because this is why. Backpage, the number one site for prostitutes, closed down. And that's the apps that they went to. They went to the seeking arrangements and the establishment and all stuff like that. The, those sites are now irrelevant. They're rotten. They're, what else? They're spoiled. Like, you cannot use those sites anymore. They're unusable, okay? Unless you are trying to sell vagina. Do not go on those sites. You need to use these regular dating sites to find Men of higher caliber, like my favorite um, YouTuber Chrissy would say, and sugar daddies, and just regular guys that spend money on you. These are the best apps to go to free game. And this is this is game that nobody has ever told you guys before on YouTube. Trust me, I've watched all these sugar daddy videos, and they're not even giving y'all any sauce or any game or anything reliable that you can use in real life. I am about to give y'all all the sauce. So if you want the sauce and you're not going to run off with it all, stay tuned. Please. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. And also share my channel. You feel me? Because I'm hopping. Okay, I'm hopping. It's gonna be annoying in this whole video. So if frizzy hair, frizzy wigs ignore annoy you, then I will watch the rest of this video. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's start. Let's get this popping. Cause I know y'all want y'all money. And I, I know y'all want y'all bread. So first off. Let's start with the apps to use. The apps that you are going to use. Number one, let me see, which, what's my favorite one? I would say Bumble. Bumble is my favorite one. Do not go on Bumble ratcheting it up or whatever. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to. First off, number one is Bumble. Bumble is a dating app. And primarily, I feel like it's used by white people. Like, primarily white people are on there. Um, but yeah, it just tends to be like a better crowd. You know, it's a better crowd than POF, a better crowd than Tinder. Like it, they're pretty high caliber. Like the, the, the guys that are on there, the black guys that are on there, like they have money y'all. So definitely I would say Bumble is the first site that I would, you know, use. Now Bumble, you have to message the guy first. So I definitely, um, they actually have like little macros that they they provide for you if you want to use those or whatever and they, they're kind of corny so um i do have certain lines that i would hit dudes up especially if i'm looking for a sugar daddy sugar i i even have in my bio on bumble like i'm looking for a sugar daddy um i i basically said i'm looking for a generous um older gentleman who you know can spoil me and basically treat me like the treat me like the queen that i am that's bumble now okay. and the second app is hinge um hinge is similar to bumble but i think that hinge is i don't know like people on hinge are more like active and it's like a little quirky like um environment you know and um you definitely want to put like a headliners because they they have like little headliners that you can put on your pictures you definitely want to put something that is stand out like and that will make these guys message you and um one of my uh phobias is oranges 
I know. I am scared of oranges, like the, the fruit. I'm scared of it. So I put that on my um hinge, and I mean, all these guys was hitting me up, like you know, um, why why are you afraid of oranges? Just stuff like that, like stuff that's that that's it's a, it's really my phobia, but it's it's funny. It's fucking hilarious, and those dudes especially white dudes eat stuff up like that like period so um i definitely would say like you know do do stuff like that on hinges it's, it's more like social media so they're going to be able to like and comment on your pictures i didn't want to really get into this on this video but like ladies y'all have to post better quality pictures i'm gonna i'm gonna put pictures that i think need to be posted i'm gonna put them like i'm gonna get some pictures from pinterest how i feel like you should be sending like i don't care i i know maybe you don't have the dough right now or whatever like you don't have the money go to a nice starbucks in like a nice area or like a nice little coffee shop or whatever have your friends take pictures of you sitting down eating go to day parties have your friends take you pictures of you drinking go to a nice scenic area take pictures there like you have to look like this is already lifestyle that you're used to. You have to look like, like, th like this ain't new to you. You have to. There's no way around it. If you want to attract guys like you know sugar daddies and just men with money, and you want dudes to spend money on you, like you just like your pictures have to be better. And it's and that's why I say the game has changed because because it's so much based off of how you present yourself on the profile it's so much based off how you present yourself on instagram or on snapchat so then that that so i'm gonna leave that there but i'm gonna come back to like how to present yourself um so then you have so okay so once you make it so let's just say so we have hinge and bumble those are the two that we have and then i'm gonna do snapchat and add me is another app at the end like towards the end and hopefully it just comes on naturally so i don't have to like throw it in there like oh i forgot because that's those are really important so nevertheless so you have your profile right so you're creating it right now let's let's just stick to one say you're creating your bumble you need to change your name i don't care like if you guys don't want to hear the truth then just click off my video good enough in this world but in the sugar daddy higher caliber man world um uh man who spend money who actually spend money you are not good enough sheila okay so you need to change your name to something that is just like just just make up a whole different name i go by code name chanel chanel's not even my name you guys i've been going by chanel for the past six years my friends are even shocked when they be like oh yeah i forget your name isn't chanel because i go by chanel but when i use when i use bumble and um and hinge i went by the name i went by dana i went by asha like i even like looked like this is how crazy i am i even googled full names the the top 10 names that men are most attracted to and it's already one up somebody you already one up the girls on that dating profile because you have a man i meant to say name men you are have a name. To that name isn't that crazy how you just one up everybody okay so now you got this bomb ass name now you need to set up your profile your profile literally y'all like especially on these sites like do not give them nothing because you want them to ask questions about you so that you can make up a whole nother life so you can make up a whole nother person and i'm not this is not fraudulent guys because the crazy part is i've had sure i had a sugar daddy for years i have people for years who know and don't know my real name if somebody needs to see your id or needs to verify who you are um oh that's another thing you on those apps you can verify you, who you are by your face but it's not by your name they just want to know that the pictures of you match who you actually are so you're not catfishing so literally you just take a picture of yourself and they verify your profile and there now you're even more up now you have a um another upper hand on girls on the site because you are verified some of those girls are not verifying their pictures maybe because they're catfishes so there you go you're up now on your profile you definitely i would be short and sweet and to the point um because these apps are literally perfect i feel like they invented these apps for sugar daddies because for sugar daddy dating like sugar baby and sugar daddy dating because on these apps they ask you what would be your perfect dinner i would say something like i love steak houses i love places like and just say your most expensive steak house in in your city i live in dallas nixon nick and sam's is like numero uno five star it don't get no better than that like nick and sam's um i think the the keg those are all like 
high quality you know those are all the it places i like ladies let, let's get red lobster out of right here let's even get benihana's didn't drink say that um benihana's is the mcdonald's of uh, hibachi grills so like get benihana's out of your head or whatever so definitely put stuff like that um what where do you see yourself in the future be like i see myself you know traveling to different places you know i've been to such and such like you can make up stuff but if you haven't been out the country don't lie about it because if you don't have your passport and then like they're like oh i want to take you to cuba or something like that and then you don't even have a passport then you're a liar but first off i wouldn't go nowhere with them that fast anyway you up hinge and bumble are literally setting you up for these sugar daddies like they're literally making it so easy they have questions like dream vacation come on ladies put your dream vacation they have questions like most spontaneous thing i've ever done in new york by myself and um stayed at in times square and enjoyed a nice dinner like i don't know make up something spontaneous that you have done like just make it seem like you are so used to this lifestyle like literally anything less than this lifestyle is beneath you anything less um a life goal of mine uh on my bucket list of course traveling um go, i would put going on a shopping spree going going on a lavish shopping spree like i mean because god because when guys see this um look they are they ask questions like my what's your your next vacation i want to go to what would be your the ideal first day for you? Um, uh, my greatest strength, I'm, what I'm looking for. That's exactly when you should say, I am looking for a generous man to spend time with, and selfish, someone who is caring, someone who is a provider and can really teach me things, help me grow. Um, I definitely want somebody who understands my lifestyle. And then, of course, when they say your lifestyle, then you tell them, like, you like fine things. You like finer things, period. Like, I mean, I can't get around this. What makes me happy? I love shopping. Like, if you sound superficial, the guys who don't like superficial girls or who aren't going to spend money on you are not going to swipe right. That is fine because the guys, so so this is the perfect thing about it. The guys who do swipe right, we know they looked at your profile. And we know that they seem that you sound superficial. We know that it seems like you're about your money. We know that it seems like that you're basically looking for a sugar daddy. I mean, I put sugar daddy in my profile. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But for people who want to be a little bit more sneaky about it, then don't do it. Whatever. But now you have these people. And then it even has one like two truths and a lie. Like, oh, it's just so perfect. It's like, it's a gold mine. It's a gold mine. It's a gold mine. Okay, it's a gold mine. Um, But no, literally, where was I at? Where was I at? So yeah, so the people who are not for you are not gonna swipe for you, and that's perfect. But the ones that do swipe when you be like you, you know they read your profile. Just come off like cute and adorable, but don't come off like super. Like I, I was. This is what I'm saying. Do not come off like you are just so hungry for a sugar daddy or whatever. Definitely come off like, hey, I'm look, I'm interested. And someone spending money on me and you like I said in your profile you definitely use words like generous definitely use words like lifestyle nobody ever knows what lifestyle means nobody ever knows what lifestyle means but it sounds expensive you know what I'm saying <laughs> like it sounds it sounds expensive anyway so now that I gave y'all tips on um, bumble and hinge Ugh, gold mines I'm telling y'all go mine so change your name change your whole life i would like even this is another good tip too do not be from the city that you are in like i'm not from dallas so i never say i'm from dallas because i'm really not from dallas but do you think i tell them that i'm from san diego no i am from los angeles california if any of them ask hey i'm dana i'm from los angeles oh my god nice to meet you okay let's have a seat um another thing is like so definitely don't be where from your where you are from i also seen like on youtube where girls is like there's no sugar daddies in, in my city that like um that like black girls or I nobody is swiping right on me blah 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 okay change your city problem solved change your city and no you're not going to meet these guys but you definitely this is the best thing about change your city you are in luck to find a sugar daddy who only wants to send you money online this has happened to me this is currently going on right now I have somebody in South Carolina sending me money like I changed my 
I changed my location because I felt like I was like, there's so much out there. And I actually Googled in South Carolina for sure. Yeah, so I, I changed in South Carolina and voila, it happens. You know what I'm saying? And that's a whole nother video. But if you cannot find it in your area, I would change your area and see if you lucked up, like even change it to like the city over and see what happens. Like if your sugar daddy is willing to travel to meet you, then I mean, you're in the game. You're in the game. There, there, here's the game. Here's the game and you're in it. That, that's it. That's enough. That's it and that's all. Um, but uh so Snapchat. Now, Snapchat is a whole different ball game. Um, I feel like I'm missing so much that I wanted to say in this video, but whatever. So Snapchat is a whole different ball game because be before you find a sugar daddy or tricks or dudes that spend money on Snapchat, you will need to use this app called Abney. Now, Abney is an app where you can get more followers on Instagram and Snapchat. And I, I think it's like Twitter and stuff like that or whatever. But clearly, girls are just using it to make money. I seen right through the bullshit. So, um, you're going to download Abney first, right? You're going to create a whole new Snapchat. Not the Snapchat that you have. You're going to create a whole new Snapchat. This is not a premium Snapchat, y'all. This is just a regular Snapchat. You're going to post your regular pictures. You're going to post your regular pictures. Then you're going to make an Abney, right? So on your Abney, you're going to add your new Snapchat. When you add your new Snapchat, um, there, on Abney, there's a little bio that you could put in and be like, um, same thing that I told you to put in the hinge and bumble. Looking for the generous guy, um, you know, who understands my lifestyle and just wants to treat me like the, the queen that I am. Um, I've been in a lot of relationships where I feel like I was taken advantage of. And I just want to be able to to learn something out of learn something out of a relationship and be able to be taken care of physically, mentally, emotionally, blah, 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 blah. Whatever y'all want. If y'all want more details about what I'm saying, then I can make a separate video. But I feel like going into exactly what to put in there is... Um, it gets really intense and it gets kind of tedious because there's these are three different completely completely different apps but you can use the same game you know what i'm saying you don't have to change the game up and that's the best part about this so after you make the add me app you're um so after you do all that they're gonna start coming in you're so then the add me app you're gonna post your pictures and it's gonna be attached to your snapchat that's why i say if you want to post your Instagram, yeah, or whatever, it's not a big deal. Just post your post your Instagram. Um, but it works like a charm. They will come. They'll come pouring in, especially um, especially on uh Snapchat. So I say not to use Instagram because, like, you know, Instagram has a lot of pictures, and I don't know if you want to create a whole new Instagram. I feel like that's too much work. When Snapchat they erased after. 24 hours so it's not as much work but they're gonna go in there they're gonna be messaging you i make money off of snapchat too like they're messaging you just you know act interested you're gonna act just like it's a dating site like hey yeah i'm definitely you know i, I live in such and such oh my gosh and then booyah be like well can you send me a hundred dollars off small these are people that you're never gonna meet especially when it's snapchat like you're never gonna meet these people and that's fine so you're gonna smile off all fifteen hundred dollars and then Every, like every week kind of advance it until they're they're actually paying your bills and this is i mean i cannot make this up add me and snapchat so add me is the app and then you have snapchat there is money on on both of those and you can even conversate with people and add me but I, I feel like what's the point get them on snapchat so it can feel more personal so it can feel like they're really getting to know you and it's not even your real snapchat again you're not using your real name you're not using your real city it's not even really you you know um that's the game for that then that brings me back to bumble and um hinge and i, I forget what i was gonna say so bring me back to bumble and Hinge. give me a second y'all and put some little gloss on and figure out where i was where i was going with this because i feel like i was going somewhere but was i oh yeah that brings me back to bumble and hinge Ooh. so this is how you're gonna tell the difference between somebody who really wants to spend money and a dude that just wants to bullshit because look check this out I told this dude my meat fee was five hundred dollars. I I cannot make this up. I told him five hundred dollars because first off, I looked at his profile. He 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 has um he had a, a Tesla and he was like a CEO at like a banking firm. Like he had money. Okay, so I I saw right through it. And I told him that my meat fee was five hundred dollars. Right. So that's really chum change to him, y'all. So I mean, 
five hundred dollars is enough to pay my car note. Anyway, so we meet, and you know he has the envelope or whatever, or he has whatever the case is, and he's like, "Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna give you the money, but I need to tell you something. Like, I really just wanna, you know, have sex. I'm gonna give you the money, but after we eat dinner, let's, you know, go and um, do what we have to do or whatever, right?" Um, cause I'm really attracted to you. You're beautiful. Your chocolate skin, blah, 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 blah. You know what the white people be kicking. Um, yeah. Okay. So, you know, he already had handed me the money and I was just waiting for the perfect time to go to the bathroom and dip out on him or whatever. And I didn't even go to the bathroom and dip out on him. I finished eating my sushi. I had a conversation with him. Like, I didn't even tell him that I was disgusted by him. Because at this point, it was nothing left to be said. I knew I was taking the $500 and I was just going to go about my life. So, after I ate the sushi or whatever, we got up. And he's like, okay, you want to you wanna follow me? Or Actually, no. He had the audacity. He had the audacity. He had the audacity to tell me to get into his car. He was like, oh, you should get into my car and I'll drive you back to your car. I'm like, no, don't worry. I'm de I'm super attracted to you. I'm definitely, I'm definitely, Billy, I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. So I was like, I'm going to follow you, blah, blah, Of course, I dipped off on them skirt, skirt. <laughs> Um, and th that was that. So you're going to run into rare weirdos and creeps. Just be safe. They're... I mean, it's just like regular dating, but I would definitely always meet them in somewhere so public. One of them places is just the most crowded place in the world. Um, that's where I would meet them, you know? And um, I definitely like another thing that I would say on these apps, be like, I just want to make sure that you're really, you know, you really understand what I want. So if you don't mind, I charge a meat fee and the meat fee is going to be $100. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but I just have my time wasted so much. And like, you know, you could say $100. I always say something outlandish. Like, what do I say? I always, I always say like $400 to me or something like that. And this is why I say it's outlandish because, come on, let's be realistic. Someone, these guys are, some of these guys are not ugly. They can get women or whatever, but they are just like, it's just like a fetish to have a sugar baby because they want an arm candy. You know what I'm saying? They want a certain look. And when they pick you, especially black women, they pick you because they want that look. They like your look. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I definitely, I, I always say nothing less than $100, like, if you're meeting these people. And then if, if you make meeting them a whole job, like, I have my friend there, but she literally was, like, not even trying to put in the work for a sugar daddy. She was just meeting people and getting, collecting, like, $100, $200, $300. Like, she was making, like, $1,000, like... <laughs> She'll make like a thousand dollars a week, you know what I'm saying, on just meeting with people. And it's so funny because that runs out. You know what I'm saying? You you have to set yourself up for the future. So you are gonna meet them, but don't run through them and be like, oh, a hundred dollars to meet and then go to the next one, go to the next one. Like really actually try to establish relationships with these men because even if they come off like they're not gonna spend fifteen thousand dollars on you a month, two thousand dollars is two thousand dollars more than what you have. And especially when they don't want nothing from you. I would never sit here and tell a girl to sell her vagina for $100. I would never. I mean, literally, I would rather tell you to drink poison, okay? But I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to meet somebody for a $100 date. Like, come on now. You 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 need to be played. And I always say, like, I have a regular job. I have a salary job or whatever. But, yes, I do it on – I, I have sugar daddies on the side. I do not pay none of my bills. And that is one thing that I will say about myself. I have not paid my bills. I haven't paid any of my bills in, like, two years. So, this this game that I'm giving you guys is not, you know, it's not fake. Like, this is the real deal. And if you guys have any questions, because I'm about to wrap this video up. Because I'm hungry and I'm about to meet up with some babies. <laughs> I'm hungry. So, if you guys have any questions about this video, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And it's your girl, Cone Chanel, and I'm out.